Welcome back to Brent's Hang, I'm Brent Barnett. Now today's episode is all about bass drum accessories. Now, when I think about accessorizing a bass drum, I'm thinking about fog machines, strobe lights, lasers, baby dolls, fish tanks. Honestly, who really uses a fish tank? Machine guns, spikes, hood ornaments. Yeah, we're not gonna be seeing any of those things. Instead, we're gonna show you guys some things you'll actually really use. If you're looking to rail your bass drum, attaching a rail mount to your bass drum, maybe you're a vintage player, maybe you have a, a bop kit that you want to mount your tom to your bass drum, the SC GVRM is perfect for this. So we have the rail mount, the mounting plate, and the mounting bolts. Now the rail mount has a hole spacing of four and a half inches from center to center. There are a number of adjustments on this mount. You can adjust the angle of the mount coming off of the bass drum with the tilter. Flip it around to the back side, and you can see how you can adjust the positioning of the mount on the rail. Once you have your tom mounted, you can adjust the height with the telescoping feature. Gives you about three inches to work with, plus or minus a fraction. The L rod has a 10.5 millimeter diameter, and you can control the positioning with these two adjustments. So here we have the SC-1B-DB. It's the single tom bass drum bracket. This is meant to mount directly to a bass drum and you can mount a double tom post directly out of it so you can mount two toms to it. Here we have the mounting bracket, the mounting plate, the mounting screws, and the tom post memory lock. The bracket accepts a one inch diameter down tube. Now the plate attaches to the inside of the shell and it connects the bracket to the top of the bass drum. The hole spacing is in the shape of a rectangle. Now from spur to spur, the distance is one and three quarter inches, and from head to head, it's one and three eighths inches. Now this is measured from center to center of each hole. This is the SC670BB. It's a double holer. This is meant to mount two seven eighths inch tom arms directly inside your bass drum. It comes with the mounting bracket, mounting plate, and mounting screws. For hole spacing, you can see we have a fat old rectangle here. Now from spur to spur, the distance is four and a half inches, and from head to head, it's two and a quarter inches. Now remember, they're measured from center to center. Here are the SCBS2 lightweight bass drum spurs. Now the spurs are a 9.5 millimeter, 12 inch steel rod with a rubber foot on the end. Now the whole configuration is in the shape of an upside down triangle. From here to here is an inch and a half, from here to here is an inch and a half, from here to here is an inch and three eighths. There also needs to be a hole cut out for the spur to be able to retract inside the bass drum. Now it attaches to the bass drum like this. Now you see why you need to have a hole for the spur. Now to collapse the spur, just retract it all the way up inside the bass drum. So here we have the SCBS5. These are the medium weight spurs. They have a 10.5 millimeter diameter and a 12 inch length. Mount hole spacing on the bracket is two inches center to center. It attaches to the bass drum like this. To collapse the spur, just fold it in to follow the contour of the bass drum. So here's the SCBS4. This is the pro heavy duty bass drum spur. Now the whole spacing configuration is in the shape of a diamond and each side of the diamond is an inch and a half. Now it also has a telescoping feature that allows you to pitch the front of the bass drum up if you like. To collapse the spur, just fold it up alongside to rest next to the shell. This is the SC4402. It's a front bass drum anchor. Now what this does is it attaches to the front hoop and prevents your bass drum from running away from you while you abuse it. Now it's got the ability to be used on two different surfaces. It's got two rubber feet for hardwood floors, and if you want to flip it entirely around, then you can use it on carpeted surfaces with spikes. This is the SC BDPM. It's the bass drum platform mount. Now this is designed to work with smaller kick drums like 18 inch or 20 inch and it's used to adjust the height of the kick drum so that the beater hits in the right spot on the head. So here are bass drum tension rods and claw hooks. These are what actually hold your bass drum hoop onto the shell. So over here on the standard side, we've got 7 seconds inch diameter threading and then on the metric side we've got 6 millimeter diameter threading. Now the length of each tension rod is about four and a half inches. They all come in packs of four. Oh yeah, can't forget about the claws too. They come in a pack of four as well. 
Well, that's it for today's episode. Thanks for watching. I showed you guys a few accessories for your bass drum. We've also got another video on, uh, on accessories for bass drums, which is mainly pads and protection. You know, always gotta use protection. Anyways, I've seen some pretty wacky stuff that people are using in their setup, and I wanna hear some of the wacky stuff that you've seen. Now, when I think about accessorizing a bass drum, I think about strobe lights, beer pong, what? <laughs>